Okay, I want to share my experience on open source with Agile Ventures. So the first question is, what is Agile Ventures? Agile Ventures is an official UK charity dedicated to crowdsource learning and project development. So uh, they, produce, they provide the solutions to uh, real customers in non-profit uh, sectors. So they welcome anyone at any skill level to, uh, to participate in their software development, uh, which means uh, junior developers like me uh, has a chance to really build a real product, to contribute to a real, uh, real just real product. Uh. Then, um, because most importantly, they are doing this in an agile way, and this is based in UK, and uh, those developers are from anywhere, any, anybody from the, in the world, so you will have a chance to collaborate with many people in the world in an agile way. So this is their official website, so you can go and visit it, and this is their GitHub URL. So how to get started with Agile Ventures? They, has a very, uh, they have a very comprehensive um, uh, website, uh, at their website on how to get started. So from here, this is uh, the step one. So from here, we see the projects involved, like the website one, and the uh, technology used for that project. And you can join, just join their Slack channel and contact the person in charge. So, how do I get to know about Agile Ventures in the first place? So, Agile Ventures is part of the Milk by EDX. EDX is an online learning uh, platform like Coursera. So, they provide courses from different universities. And after I finished uh, the real, real classes in EDX, I was looking for a real-world real -world collaborative project to work on. So I joined their stand-up for a few times in an offline and online way. What I mean by that is that their stand-up is uh, conducted through Google Hangout. So I joined by, uh, by mean by offline means I become a, an audience in their YouTube live. So yeah, I just observed and spy through them. And after I feel a little bit, okay, they, are, they look quite friendly. Uh, I think I can join them online. It means I become part of the uh, stand-up member. Uh, so basically, during a stand-up, they just, uh, each of the member just update themselves with uh, their story they are working on. And I'm a new member, I just introduced myself there. Uh, and I find themselves quite friendly. And they don't really judge me. So, so okay, so go to the next step. So I express my intention to work for the project and I tell them what is my skill level uh, through, uh, through the Slack. The slack. Mm. Then they also, okay, since you, uh, you do reels, so I will recommend you to this MedPlus Pets project. MedPlus is a non-profit organization. Uh, they want to help the job seeker and company to find each other. So this Pets project is uh, doing that purpose. Mm. Uh, then the Patrick, Patrick is the, I think I should, the Scrum Master for this MapPlus project. Um, Shui Wei held a Google, I don't know, the Hangout sessions to understand my competency level and just assign me a story. Then it starts my journey with Agile Ventures for about four months. So what I've learned during uh, my journey, first I know how, I learned how to collaborate remotely. These are the tools that we use. We use Slack for communication. We use Waffle for the uh, story tracking. But I believe that Waffle is no longer there. This, this is used uh, when I was joining at that time. And we use Hangout, Google Hangout for stand-up and also for a pair programming session. And we use GitHub uh, definitely for the version control. So actually, I did a few mistakes when I do that. So first of all, I'm not supposed to take more than one story at one time. And I'm not aware of that. The people are very kind. They say, hey, why this, this fellow again take two stories at one time? And then they just, hey, Tong Wei, you shouldn't do this. You should finish it one by one. OK, I say, OK, 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 OK. I just remove my name there. And then, yeah, and faster we can do it. And so, yeah. So um, also, because 
this because we are doing remotely and then the pull request and the reviewing of the PR process will be very very slow so if the previous is not very reviewed how can I start the new one so I want to finish it fast so sometimes when I uh, look at it I find hey, when I do, do the coding I said mm, maybe I can um, I see this one got problem so I can uh, the story even though is asking me to do a feature but I see hey, this one is problem maybe I can fix it at the same time Definitely this is a no-no, but at that time, I'm not aware of it. So uh, I get this feedback from people that, hey, you should really keep your PR small and, and um, just uh, break down in a small piece. And then when you submit the PR, just explain it as concise as possible because we are working remotely. So uh, explain, uh, more description is better than, than less. La. So doing more is okay. But I think this is not relevant, it's you, are, you are not working remotely. Lah. Yeah. Then, because, um, then because we are doing agile programming, so, uh, oh yeah, one thing is we are using Google uh, Hangouts for our pair programming. How to do that? Um, then we learned that the setup for the text editor is very important. You must have your line numbers be beside. So that, because we cannot point at my own screen and then tell people, hey, you go to here, 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 who do people know, right? So I must go, hey, go to line this one, this one, and then and change this one to another one. So must be empathy a little bit because sometimes what you think, people might not know what I'm thinking. So yeah, so it's a little bit hard. Mm. So uh, then throughout the process also, I learned about the CI-CD pipeline because we are doing RSpec for our unit testing and we are doing Cucumber for our uh, BDD, which is behavior testing. Then uh, we use Semaphore CI for our CICD pipeline, and it's integrated with Code Climate, so we know the quality of a code. Uh, and finally, we, we learned, I learned about the Agile software development also, um, because they have this spring review, and their product owner for this pet project is actually in Detroit. So there's a time zone difference. Uh, so the screen review is at 10 p.m. at night. So the time, so I will just maybe once in a while uh, follow it, but most of the time I'm not there. Uh, so are you guys curious about how this works? Just go browse Agile Intro website, take initiative by expressing intention to involve in the project, and be aware that most of the projects are led uh, led by somewhere about 8 to 16 hours from here because we're in Singapore and uh, and uh, just now this this Agile Ventures is based in UK and there are people from US are the product owner and Scrum Master from US also and there are some from South Africa so it's really everywhere and there are developers from India so just be kind to each other and use your creativity to make things happen. So if you feel like, hey, why this one? Still nobody look at it and just prompt people nicely and yeah, just get things, uh, get, make things happen. Lah. Or there's another option, which is be a super cool kid to initiate a project, which is being in Singapore. Just ask for people, hey, are you uh, interested to, to, to do this project with me? If so, then let's start a project here. Lah. Uh, I think it will work also. Yeah, because I get to know other people um, uh, I, I know about this web RTC5 because there's this one developer and he, he just asked me, hey, do you want to start something with me, uh, play around with the, with the technology? La. So yeah, la. it's quite fun la, to get to know people. So that's all about it. Okay, any question? Okay. <laughs> 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 <laughs>